أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The hour drew nigh and the moon was rent in twain. And if they behold a portent, they turn away and say, Prolonged illusion. They denied the truth and followed their own lusts, yet everything will come to a decision. And surely there hath come unto them news whereof the purport should deter. Effective wisdom, but warnings avail not. So withdraw from them, O Muhammad, on the day when the summoner summoneth unto a painful thing. With downcast eyes, they come forth from the graves as they were locusts spread abroad. Hastening toward the summoner, the disbelievers say, This is a hard day. The folk of Noah denied before them, Ye, they denied our slave, and said, A madman, and he was repulsed. So he cried unto his Lord, saying, I am vanquished, so give help. Then opened we the gates of heaven with pouring water, and caused the earth to gush forth springs, so that the waters met for a predestined purpose. And we carried him upon a thing of planks and nails, that ran upon the waters in our sight, as a reward for him who was rejected. And verily we left it as a token, but is there any that remembereth? Then see how dreadful was my punishment after my warnings. And in truth we have made the Qur'an easy to remember, but is there any that remembereth? The tribe of Ad rejected warnings, then how dreadful was my punishment after my warnings. Lo, we let loose on them a raging wind on a day of constant calamity, sweeping men away as though they were uprooted trunks of palm trees. Then see how dreadful was my punishment after my warnings. And in truth we have made the Qur'an easy to remember, but is there any that remembereth? The tribe of Thamud rejected warnings. For they said, Is it a mortal man alone among us that we are to follow? Then indeed we should fall into error and madness. Hath the remembrance been given unto him alone among us? Nay, but he is a rash liar. Unto their warner it was said, Tomorrow they will know who is the rash liar. Lo, we are sending the she-camel as a test for them, so watch them and have patience. And inform them that the water is to be shared between her and them, every drinking will be witnessed. But they called their comrade and he took and hamstrung her. Then see how dreadful was my punishment after my warnings. Lo, we sent upon them one shout, and they became as the dry twigs rejected by the builder of a cattle fold. And in truth, we have made the Qur'an easy to remember, but is there any that remembereth? The folk of Lot rejected warnings. Lo, we sent a storm of stones upon them, all save the family of Lot, whom we rescued in the last watch of the night as grace from us, thus we reward him who giveth thanks. And he indeed had warned them of our blow, but they did doubt the warnings. They even asked of him his guests for an ill purpose. Then we blinded their eyes and said, Taste now my punishment after my warnings. And in truth the punishment decreed befell them early in the morning. Now taste my punishment after my warnings. And in truth we have made the Qur'an easy to remember, but is there any that remembereth? And warnings came in truth unto the house of Pharaoh, who denied our revelations, everyone. Therefore we grasp them with the grasp of the mighty, the powerful. Are your disbelievers better than those, or have ye some immunity in the scriptures? Or say they, we are a host victorious. The hosts will all be routed and will turn and flee. Nay, but the hour of doom is their appointed tryst, and the hour will be more wretched and more bitter than their earthly failure. 
Lo, the guilty are in error and madness. On the day when they are dragged into the fire upon their faces, it is said unto them, Feel the touch of hell. Lo, we have created everything by measure. And our commandment is but one commandment, as the twinkling of an eye. And verily, we have destroyed your fellows, but is there any that remembereth? And everything they did is in the scriptures, and every small and great thing is recorded. Lo, the righteous will dwell among gardens and rivers, firmly established in the favor of a mighty king.